I really love the idea within a house that there is a sense of belonging. In 2005, we just fell in love with the land and uh, the old house was really just a means to an end. It was this idea of being able to enjoy growing up with some young lads on the site. We looked at what we could reuse and the whole family were really keen to try and recycle parts of the house and the sense of memory. So we, we removed as many weatherboards off the old house as we could. I love natural things, the granite, the cedar, the old cedar off the old house, the new cedar, that to me just creates a richness. I think the ideas that sort of evolved, you know, as an architect, um, you're always thinking about different things and often you're directed by clients and then when you're doing your own thing it becomes, um, you know, we probably did a couple of hundred designs. We started to sort of think about how we had evolved as a family within the house that was here and whether there was merit in terms of the story within the neighbourhood of, of the black house on the street and then design a new house that had the memory of the old house. So the ideas evolved in the sense that the form of the old house, the outline and its positioning and, and footprint, we respected that, took away all the fenestration and created a connection for all the spaces to the northerly aspect. Within the um, formation of the in-situ concrete, the, the size of the boards that were used for the in-situ are the same size as the old weather boards of the old house. And that experimentation with in-situ was um, the thinking that we could actually create something that was meaningful to the house, but also to us. So we've called the house number three in relation to a street number. There's um, the three boys in the family, um, and then there's the this, this central square, which is the heart of the family, which is my wife. And so that, and the way that it's set, it was about us as a family, but it also was about the house. So it's sort of a double meaning. It's a bit of a surprise, this home, when you first come down the driveway and the gates open and it reveals this home that just does not look like it belongs in Remuera. And you think about they've got neighbours on all sides, but no curtains. It's, uh, you know, it's that secluded. It could be anywhere in the country. So I suppose more formally, when people arrive, this is a welcoming. And then it's being drawn into the, our, I suppose our family area, our kitchen, dining area. So we spend a lot of time sitting at this island bench. Uh, it's very much like a bar. We do do a lot of entertaining and um, we have family who stay with us often. I love to slow roast. You know, we do do a lot of baking. And you know, it was classic last night, there would have been eight people in the kitchen at one stage. And it's, it's not a traditional scullery or butler's kitchen, um, but it's a space that we can use, have all the appliances out, have them tucked away and you don't see them. The purpose of it for me is the job that it's doing. I don't necessarily want to see what the object is. Often people are really interested in the appliances that we've used and what we use on projects and the best testimony is that we have used them um, and then explaining to them this is how they look and feel as well so to be, have people here to be able to enjoy it that's that's pretty special. The install of the drawers in particular are beautifully seamless, reusing the weatherboards from the existing home that was on the site and then repurposing them to, for cabinetry fronts. Um, they look, look stunning on the front of the dish drawer. Paul's opted for a very dark, kind of moody colour palette on this level, with all the walls being black and a lot of the kitchen cabinetry being black. So the black ovens were an obvious choice to work with this colour scheme. 
But working with architects on their own homes and you see how much detail they put into it when they select a full suite of our appliances. It's very, it, yeah, it's a proud moment for us to see what they do with them, but then also know that them and their families are putting them through their paces day in, day out. My wife was keen to have a skyline above our bed to see the stars and just um, have that sort of idea of camping. We repeated that on the over the entry, but it, it created this really nice sculptural element so that when you enter the property you, and you look over, but the roof actually presents itself. It's sort of the surprise. And within that, it, you know, we can butt the glass, lift the roof, and just have this really interesting moment. The way that the house on the outside has been articulated is that the northern elevation has a connection to the site and to the sun. The eastern elevation has this connection to morning sun. Then the composition of the eastern elevation has this idea of modulation. In terms of you know, the design thinking, as an architect, we explored things that we hadn't necessarily done before. The idea was for the house to work for us as a family in relation to its adaptability so that the house was always used. <laughs>